Mia, can you explain your relationship with Peter? Oh. What about it? Like, that he's friends with G? Is that it? Yeah. You and G were we know, sleeping we know with his girlfriend through. for a time? No, it wasn't his girlfriend. So, you know, we had a, a thing with his girlfriend. At, she's not his girlfriend anymore, right? Okay. But, and she wasn't and his was girlfriend before. at the time? No. Okay. Mia, I didn't understand why you threw a drink at Wendy. She didn't really say anything bad about your husband. So the way that I remember it, Andy, there was a lot of things that were said. Like she just okay. kept like just coming at and just spitting things out that had absolutely nothing to do with what I was trying to talk about. But that's not true. And I'm talking to Andy. And I had had enough. It seemed like whatever the drama was between she and Peter, you were trying to make it Correct. Yeah. Something maybe more than it was. I okay. did not intend to argue with Wendy. I think I poorly delivered the message that I was trying to deliver. I was talking business. What she wanted to talk about, about threesomes. It's like, what no, you, you took about, it to you another level when you, you threw the drink. You and then she responded. Are you kidding me? They, you are sitting here almost a year later and you cannot take ownership of what you did. You assaulted me. And don't let this sh fool you that I'm standing here strong. That sh was sh up. Okay. All right. Well, do you want to talk about the no. fact you, you I want you and to that's understand the real story that. why you were up. What? You want to talk about that? You were from my little receipt of you, you eating the cookie so you can get a little uh -uh. restaurant in bar one, <laughs> Baltimore <laughs> Harvey. Well, Man. Talk about this. You want to talk about that? You are my little receipt of you, you eating the cookie. And I want you to understand. So you can get a little uh -uh. restaurant in bar one. Uh -uh. You want to talk about that? Girl, you just saying that because you want to. We got to stop with these lies. Hmm. Y'all can't just say whatever you want because you ain't got nothing else to she talk about. She had dinner with him before filming. Yes. And they had a whole entree. And I heard yes. all about it. And From it was after whom? hours. From whom? In bar one. Who told Baltimore. you this? I saw the cameras. She saw the cameras. Did they have the cookie for dinner? No. She gave him the cookie, allegedly. The cookie. I, I understand. You're f***ing for lobsters. I'm not denying it. You it's are. It's fine. You're <laughs> for lobsters. We yeah. Don't all, we don't all do that. <laughs> oh my God. We're <laughs> for lobsters now. Okay. Jen from DC. Robin, you kept calling Wendy antagonistic. How is it possible to antagonize someone after they throw a drink in your face? So how is she the antagonist in that? So okay. first of all, let me let me say, <laughs> I don't know how I would react if someone threw a drink on me. I have a feeling. It wouldn't be good. It probably wouldn't. I saw it... the umbrella scene. Get in my face oh, no, and say that and see what happens. You think uh -oh. I'm gonna You shut up. Okay. Go you think for about it. my face while I choke oh, you out with this umbrella. Oh, please no. look at the game. She just told me to get in her face and I did. And everybody in this world has the right to retaliate however they want to. Okay. However, I really did not want to see her fighting on television. Then why the fight or shut up? Okay. No, be, no, because she kept, no, no, listen, oh, let me answer okay. her. After I said this to her, you kept going, you kept going. And that's when I said, okay, well, if you want to fight, then just fight. And then I said, but if you don't, then stop. And that's the part that people are missing. You don't want to fight. Right? No. Because you don't want to fight on camera. No. But I, I get you. if no, she I get comes you. No, and you. pops you in the mouth, uh, it'll, because, it'll you be keep, because you keep doing this, it. you want to fire ass, fire ass, and the cameras go away. Right. I think that even with that context, it doesn't change anything for me. I had just been physically assaulted, not once, but twice. But you look at me and you say, you're being antagonistic. If someone, anybody hits even dumbass Mia right now in the face, I would say, hold up, nice. this is messed up. You didn't do that. The only person in which you spoke to was the person who was attacked. That's up. I'm still not justifying what she did, but I understood her frustration. Well, it sounded secondly, like you were. Secondly, you saying. and I were not friends. And to be honest, I felt like Karen would have been the perfect person to say, Mia, cut it out. Wendy, cut it out. But instead, she tried to excuse herself from the situation. And like Robin, I said, do not speak for me. Why are you dragging I'm me not... into your bullshit? 
Not speaking Look, for you. Ass I just said you, you were I the aggressor you at the table. The the, also, you want my name you, up, I so said, I'm in it now, Robin, because what you're okay. not going to do is say that I should have diffused something that you were responsible for gaslighting. Is it gaslighting or throwing gas on the fire? I think it's throwing gas on the fire. I did not make the situation That's totally different. Okay, gas on the fire, and they stand corrected. I stand corrected. Tina from Dallas said, Robin, you were on Watch What Happens Live saying Sharice did not need to put hands on you to hold you back from Wendy. Mm. The truth is she did. Can you acknowledge that if Sharice's natural reaction was to put hands on you, it was because you were behaving in an aggressive manner? Now, you and I have debated this. You said it on the show. We keep showing the flashback. You keep saying she didn't put her hand on me. You see no, in I the flashback no, 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 no. that she's... I didn't say she didn't. I said I didn't need her to put her hand on me. I'm standing and I still stand. I'm standing on it. I'm standing on it. I was seated. Yes. She was standing. Okay. We were in a heated argument. Yes. I don't know where y'all are from, but if you and somebody are going at it yes. and they proceed to walk towards you, anything can right. happen. Right. And I said, well, let me say I'm this. standing. All I'm there saying was is, nothing... if you stepped in the middle of that right. table right now towards her, I would get up. There you go. And if she said stand 20, Eight times, and you're yelling it, at yes, each other. Yes, it would become. A, but, it would. Okay. That to me means this situation is getting that. heightened. I just Thank want you. her to I stop would. telling me to stand. Yes. I want her to stop yes. telling me to stand. Yes. It was not stopping. Okay. I'm not Miss Cleo. And I'm not fortune teller. I didn't know what you were trying to do. Okay. And Ashley, you flip flopped your stance on violence this season. I sure did. You know, Monique did was not. far sure more did. violent than Mia, and you defended her to the courts. Monique's attorney said that I should write just what was seen publicly. So I wrote about what happened at your house. Mm -hmm. We were at the reunion and then how we had back and forth on social media. So basically so the statement, statement was to assassinate Candace. Candace's character. Everyone came to Candace's defense as they should have. And you wanted to no be a hero. No one came to Wendy's defense. No one checked to make sure that she was okay when she was the person who had been violated. And no one was holding Mia's feet to the fire for her actions. Everybody chastised Monique, told her she was a misrepresentation of black women and she all this was. stuff. I mean, all everyone went for true. her jugular. But yeah, no one was saying have. anything to Mia, and I didn't think that was fair, and I will stand by that. Well, let me move on to Giselle. Your reaction to what happened in Miami seems hypocritical and the opposite of your reaction to what happened with Monique. So now you have Mia throwing a drink and hitting her with her purse. And how is that different? What Monique did to Candace is completely different than the drink throwing. Candace, I felt like, got beat up. This was a drink toss. So... The Can two are not comparable. You're saying that Chris made you feel a certain way? Yes. Okay, so listen to her. She felt a certain way. Yeah. She got a martini thrown in her eyes. Right. She felt violated. Right. So I don't like her. I so understand, I do, it doesn't matter then, to me. You know what? That's, Just, that's, that's, that's your moral, that's, that's, that's that, your moral I compass. That, right right is right and that, wrong is wrong. And, if it's wrong, that doesn't, it's wrong. That doesn't hold up in a, does in a court. Your, your no, that says does. everything. Yes, I just want to be very clear, because naturally, you know, just who I am, I'm a strong person. That was up. And the way in which it was handled within this group was up. It took everything out of me not to beat the out of you. Not because I couldn't, but because of who I am as a woman. And the only reason I came to your room to have that conversation in Mexico was so we could move forward as a group. I wanted to hear what you had to say. I want you to know, I really am sorry. Like, I didn't sleep that night because I don't ever want to be responsible for disrespecting someone. But I don't with you. Because you violated me. Right, well, don't violated me to my deepest core. I don't mess up my makeup. But weren't y'all kissing? Or something, or vagina bop she don't bumping. She know what she want to do. We'll get into that. Yeah, we'll get oh, into okay. that, child. We all show each other oh. our vaginas. It was tequila. <laughs> We're gonna take a break. 